Hello, everyone. This is Carl Taylor with Midwest Athletics. I hope you're having a blessed day. Today is May 3rd, 2022, and it's our monthly uh, newsletter for the month of May. We're going to talk about two topics today. We're going to talk about speed and how important that is for your athlete, as well as how to get noticed on Twitter. Don't forget, on Sunday, June 12th, Hillsdale will be hosting their football showcase called the Honor Roll Showcase in Hillsdale, Michigan. Uh, come prepared and ready to get evaluated by some great colleges across the nation. Uh, you can also check our website of uh, those kids who've come before and where they've been signed or where they signed uh, uh, this past class, which will be the class of 2022. When we talk about speed, we're talking about just improving your speed before you go to any college showcase. And the month of May is where you need to really work on your drills. And those drills are the combine drills that you'll be tested on as college camps. So one of the things we really reckon, uh, or really see is just ensuring that your athlete is preparing, you know, training with a trainer or working out with his coach on the drills that you commonly see at college camps. We talk about doing drills in the month of May. We talk about three common drills that you'll get tested on at college camp. And they are the 40 yard dash, 20 yard shuttle run and the L drill. And sometimes you'll see the long jump or broad jump, as they say. The 40 yard dash is what you see on the screen. And you'll see where it says excellent, average, and fair. These are a guide of times that you want to try to strive for based on your goals of the level that you want to be recruited by. For instance, D1 athletes are tend to reach the excellent level. And sometimes at the average level, they'll get recruited by a D1 school. And if they're typically is D2 and below. You know, also height and weight do come in play for these times. But at the end of the day, these times are significant in your recruiting process. Another gauge is the pro agility or 20 hour shuttle run. Look at these times as another guide 4.30 is excellent for receiver, DB and a running back. I've seen multiple kids get under that in the high school level. Quarterbacks, O-linemen, et cetera. Look at these times and see what you believe you can achieve. If you can achieve the excellent rank, you have a good chance of getting recruited by the D1 schools. And as I say, average and fair, you're really gonna be hitting the D2 schools and lower division. And the next one will be the L drill or three cone drill, excellent, 7.0 for receivers, average is 7.2. Use this as a guide. Always go out and get tested before you go college camps so you kind of get a gauge on what level you might be recruited by and what level you can achieve in these times. The next topic that we want to talk about is how to get noticed or followed by college coaches on Twitter. There are several simple steps that we believe that you should do. One of them is auto, uh, is one of them is on there. Ew, oh, 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 yeah. The next topic that we want to talk about is how to get noticed or followed on Twitter by college coaches. There are seven general rules that we say to use, uh, and this is just a guide. As we said, it helped our athlete. Hopefully, it will help you as well. One simple thing is to use your real name. If you've already created your Twitter account, that's okay. But we always say use your real name on your Twitter account so it's easy to find your name. Measurables, add your measurables from the height, the weight, your GPA, your high school, update your huddle link to your current huddle information. Always add that to your Twitter page. Make sure you meet the athletic and the academic standards for the college. Uh, coaches will look at that to make sure that you do, especially from your huddle film and then your GPA standard. If you don't know the standard of the college, ask us. We know pretty much a lot of the colleges or ask your teacher or guidance counselor to ask, uh, understand what is the acceptance rate or the acceptance GPA for a particular college. Follow that coach on Twitter. It's simple enough, but just follow that coach. Tag them on anything you post. You know, mostly you're posting videos yourself for running track, playing basketball, and your football highlights. Make sure you tag those colleges to the, your post. Don't waste it on other, uh, you know, uh, people. Use college coaches to tag. Email them directly. One of the most things that coaches will read is emails more than a DM from Twitter 
Why? Because they get thousands of DMs. Follow up with the email. They tend to look at their emails more than anything. We email them daily. I talk about events that we're hosting, athletes that we recommend, and they emails first and foremost. Like and retweet and comment on their posts. They will notice that. And notice that, that you're doing so often that they, they will take a look at your evaluation huddle film. And that's what it is. You're looking at your huddle, looking at your GPA to see if you meet their standards. And if you do, they'll follow you. And then that means they'll look at evaluating you this summer. I hope these seven tips help you get the notification and the notices from this college coaches that you're looking for. Always remember, you got to meet the requirements from athletically and academically in order for them to follow you. With that being said, thanks for joining our monthly newsletter. We hope to see you at the Hillsdale College Showcase on June 12th. If you got any questions or comments, please give us a call or e email us. We're happy to help and give you some guidance. As we uh, said before, we've gone through this before. We know how difficult it can be. And one of the words that we always do, be patient, be patient. Thank you and God bless.